Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley from the Broadway Church, uh, reading to you from 2 Corinthians. Hey, if we're reading through the Bible together, now we're in 2 Corinthians. Uh, and so verse chapter 1, verses 12, 13, and 14, it says, For our boast is this, the testimony of our conscience, that we behaved in the world with simplicity and godly sincerity, not by earthly wisdom, but by the grace of God, and supremely so toward you. For we are not writing to you anything other than what you read and understand, and I hope you will fully understand, just as you did partially understand that us, that on the day of our Lord Jesus, you will boast of us as we will boast of you. Now, Paul, in saying boast, is talking about speaking boldly, uh, declaring the good things, declaring a greatness and a glory. He is, you know, Paul is not hoping to, to go around and you know, brag about his friends to somebody else, but he's saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be excited about what Jesus has done in and through this church, the one he writes to in Corinth. It was even a church that in some ways you could say it wasn't doing anything right. Uh, or certainly they had enough problems that we got a lot of valuable instruction from Paul writing to correct said problems. But he says, I, my, I'm going to brag on this church because we're going to find that Jesus has worked in lives. We're going to find that the Holy Spirit has brought people to a, to a new relationship and an intimate relationship with God that means everything. We're going to find that God has used us, even our faults and our, and our, and our weaknesses, to bring about his glory. This is the sort of thing Paul looks at and says, uh, we, can o- we can only wish for more of this. Let us boast in that. For indeed, we will be glad of all the goodness that has come to the church. We may complain about it and probably shouldn't complain as much. But God will work his glory in the church and we will indeed say, Blessed be the Lord for his work among the faithful. Amen.